So what's a really important element to think about when we want to create a very interesting and beautiful open concept room? Hi everyone, it's Carol from Discover Interior Design and I'm so glad you're here. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about using contrast and working with value, you know, the lightness and darkness of different elements in our room and making sure that there's a balance between lighter and darker values so that our room isn't flat, that is actually very dimensional. So let's get started and take a look of how we can do that. So one thing that's really important when we are decorating an open concept or open plan room is that we want to create a sense of cohesiveness in the room. We want to create a sense of calmness that we can be in that room and we feel like everything is flowing together, especially because it does have different functions going on in there. There's a kitchen and a living room and then most likely maybe a dining room area. And so we want to use those larger areas, the walls, ceiling, the doors, and the flooring, and have all of those give us a sense of a nice backdrop, a nice background, so that we can come back in and enjoy being in those spaces. And that's where we provide, you know, a consistent wall color or consistent trim stain or paint color or the same doors or same hardware throughout or even the type of finish that you're using on your light fixtures, say above your kitchen island and your dining room area. And having some consistency, repetition throughout that space helps to tie everything together. But one thing that I want you to keep in mind and that I encourage you to do is also to think about variety. And I am talking about variety in contrast and contrast with value. So value just has to do with the lightness and darkness of things. And lots of times I talk about color value, you know, lighter and darker colors. But value has to do with everything in our home, whether it's a paint color or a piece of fabric or even a wood floor, because everything will have a different value to it, whether that's lighter or darker or somewhere in between. And there could be a tendency sometimes for us to choose these really nice colors for our walls and our flooring and everything is in a certain value. You know, maybe it's a lighter value or a mid-tone value. And then when we choose fabrics for draperies or for our furniture or for anything else in the room, we kind of stay within that same value range. And that can make sense because we are repeating everything. And, you know, repetition helps us to feel good and feel calm and it helps everything to come together. But the other thing that can happen is that everything can become flat and uninteresting and no personality. And so an example of that is this room. And it's a beautiful, spacious room and they are using one consistent paint color throughout and there's a uh, color to the cabinetry and the flooring and even a consistency with the living room furniture. But if we were going to put a filter on this room, a black and white filter, just so that we can concentrate on value, we would notice that everything is kind of the same. And it's a subtle thing that we may not notice right away because that living room, for instance, has different colors going on in the furniture. But all of those colors are kind of in the same value. And then everything in that room doesn't have enough contrast, enough character, so that things kind of become more interesting. And the only contrast that I kind of see going on in there is way back in the kitchen where they have the hood area over the cooktop and maybe the kitchen island and the wood is a darker tone and so it kind of contrasts with the lightness of everything else going on in it. Well, it might be nice for that room to bring in more contrast throughout the rest of the kitchen and throughout the rest of the living room area. And so to make sure that your 
open floor plan room has variety that it looks interesting that it doesn't just look all blah it's really important to use value use a variety of values in the room just so that things are not flat so for this video i'm going to show you a couple examples of rooms where there's a nice balance between different types of values and also some rooms where maybe we can make some improvements just like that picture that i just showed you so let's take a look at this first room this is a really bold energetic modern style room very contemporary and we can see actually right away that there is a lot of contrast going on but when i put a black and white filter over that room we can even see that contrast even more and What's happening in this room, I think, is a really nice example of a really nice balance between different types of darker and lighter values. And they are also repeated throughout the kitchen and throughout that living room area and dining room area. And there's a sense that this room actually is kind of interesting because there are different values going on, because there are really darker values and some mid-tone values and even lighter values. And there is a cohesiveness because they all relate to one another as well as those different values are repeated throughout the room. So this would be a much more blah room if there wasn't this contrast going on in that room. It would just, it would lessen how interesting this room would be. And then in this example, we can see just by looking at the full color picture of this room is that there is a nice variation between different values and they're just using neutral colors grays and browns as the main colors of this space and we could say yes there's a nice you know contrast between different lighter and darker tones and when we put a black and white filter on this photo we can see that the darkest tone the darkest value in this room is that area rug and there really isn't anything else in this room to kind of offset that balance or to repeat that dark tone in other areas there's a smaller area rug in front of the doors but that's about it and everything else is still kind of within kind of that mid-tone uh, value range one thing we could do is maybe switch out those dining room chairs to a darker tone, maybe something that matches that blue of that area rug, and maybe even adding some darker toned throw pillows on the sofa, just to kind of bring in some sense of balance, seeing some darker areas and some lighter areas and everything in between. And I'd love to find out from you, what are some other ways that we could bring more of a balance of different values into this room. So in this example, we can see this beautiful space and a beautiful living room area, and then the kitchen is in the background. And when we put the black and white photo over that, just to look at the values, we can notice right away that there's a lot of just lighter values. There is some variation with the fabric on the living room furniture, which is kind of interesting, but it's kind of by itself. And so what are some ideas that we could do to create more balance in both of these areas, in this big, huge open plan area, so that there's more variation between lighter and darker values and even mid-tones. What could we do maybe with the fabrics or artwork or even changing something in the kitchen or even with lighting just to add more contrast? So this room will look and feel more cohesive as well as more interesting. So share your ideas in the comments of what you think would be helpful to do to kind of perk up this room a little bit. And then in this last example, we can see that this is a really beautiful room um, and we'd want to hang out in here. And there's some variation going on with color. But when we put that black and white filter on this room and we're just paying attention to values, we notice that there is not a lot of contrast going on or not enough 
repetition of different dark and light values going on in this space. One thing that I noticed right away is that the fireplace and the TV are the darkest values in this room. So what I would want to do is to kind of bring in more visual weight to other areas of the room. And visual weight just has to do with where our eyes are drawn to and how much different areas in our room are grabbing our attention. And fireplace is actually a really important area and that can be a focal area, you know, a main area where we would want to have a lot of visual weight over there. But what could we do in this room to kind of offset that balance to bring in more darker values in other areas of this room? One thing we could do is there's a nice darker pattern throw pillow on the chair on the left side. Maybe we could bring in some of those darker values a little bit more in the throw pillows. Or what about bringing a darker fabric for the bar stools at the kitchen island? Anything to kind of help balance out and bring in more darker areas in that room, I think would make it a little bit more interesting. But I'd love to find out from you what else you think we could do with this room to kind of bring it together a little bit more, make it a little less flat, and just to bring in more contrast so it has more variety happening in it. So I encourage you to take a moment in your busy week and take a photo of your open plan room or even if you don't have an open plan room, just of one of your rooms and either in black and white or put a filter on it after you take a color photo. And then take a moment to check and see how the balance looks between lighter and darker values. And is there a sense of that there's a nice balance between mid-tones and lighter values and darker values? Or is there an opportunity to kind of perk things up a little bit and add a little bit more darker values or a little bit more lighter values or even mid-tone values within your design style so that it kind of brings more life to the room? And let me know what you find out in the comments. And please share any other ideas that you may have when we think about value and the importance of using lighter and darker and mid-tone values in our rooms to help bring them to life and to help them look and feel more interesting. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.